Broken skip and then go mat. <clears throat> <clears throat> Coach, early in the season, you had some of these breakdowns in the secondary. It looked like the last two weeks, maybe you got them kind of straightened out. Well, we did. Are yeah. you surprised at how poorly yes. and how many how guys were so wide open Shocked for much of the game? In the first half, especially. It's a couple of just blown coverages. Um, yeah, just really, really shocked, to be honest with you. Um, and uh, very, 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 very frustrating. You know, so just no excuse for it. What, what do you feel it was a product of? You know, I just a couple of times it's poor communication. Get the wrong signal, which that shouldn't happen week 10, you know. So, to me, that's just an excuse. But that's what was the information was conveyed after the play. Um, and then just uh, a couple of young guys that made some mistakes, but still at the same time, you know, just gotta, they're in there this time of year, they gotta make plays. So, just really, really disappointed. Zach and Mike, how you left? Yes, Tom, just in a, in a broad brush way, in terms of adjustments, what was it taking for that defense? What what basically were you trying that just wasn't quite fixing? So yeah, I mean, just. Uh, Tried to multiple coverages. Obviously, number one was a matchup issue. Um, doubled him, and then they're getting the ball in 13 and 14 before 13 went out. Um, and that was tough. It was tough to get pressure. We were max protecting several times, especially they were, they were early down throws, um, especially in the first half. And uh, just being able to, so therefore, we tried to, you know, even some drive in eight to be able to, because it's hard to get to max protection and get pressure on the quarterback. So, uh, but got pressure on that last play and it didn't contain him, you know. So, just um, fundamental mistake there by one of our ends. But uh, um, and then they didn't cover the receiver, you know. So at the same time, trying to you know find a way to have safety help, and he ran away from the safety that was that was doubling him. But but uh, just yeah, we tried multiple things to to be able to have answers for that, to be able to you know get hands on him, roll the coverage to him, double cover him, and uh, um, obviously their quarterback had a career day. Mike, on your left and Todd. You talked about this week, kind of preparing maybe for the Luke Altmaier, other quarterback. Did you guys kind of plan for both? Just about we plan for both. We watched film on the one that ended up playing. Obviously, didn't know he was going to play. Uh, we obviously got prepared for both. You know, just make phone calls, trying to find out as much about him as we could. Um, watched him on his film from where he came from and, and uh, felt, you know, good about that part of it. But obviously, you know, we just, uh, we just could get pressure on him. That was the issue. He was able to throw with um, nobody in his face much. And, and that was not, not really what we wanted to be able to do. And, and uh, but yeah, we obviously were expecting number nine, but, but we had a plan for, for number four. Now that you left the Mason. Tom, we saw the Braves of breakdowns occurred through the course of the game. What was, what can you do? What's the message to the defense as you try to get them back on track? And yeah, I mean, just uh, to me, to be able to, to make sure that the things that we're trying to do, that our guys can do them, you know, and, and making sure there's the, the matchups, if there's a guy that's, Somebody struggling with, we got to be able to have answers for that. And uh, uh, but obviously, to me, it's about there was a lot of breakdowns of just some execution of our calls that, that didn't happen. Uh, you know, we had one play where we just didn't get the same called in quick enough and, and score a touchdown off of that. So which cannot happen this this time of the year. So the coaches, it's my responsibility. It's our, it's on us as coaches. Obviously, players got to make plays, but uh, you know, this is this is to me, you know, got to take ownership of it. So it's just unacceptable. But uh, uh, obviously, we got to. To, to flush it and get ready for another one. But uh, yeah, I've definitely got a lot, a lot of things to work on. Mason in front and ready. Coach, you were a little bit thin with your defensive back depth <clears throat> going into the game, and then you lost a couple guys yeah. to injury. How are they doing right now? You know, we don't know for next week for sure, but uh, yeah, definitely took us toll a little bit. But uh, <laughs> you know, the loss of no Pierre has obviously been pretty significant. It's cost us several times already since he's been out. But at the same time, we're trying to make adjustments there. You know, we played multiple guys in that spot even today. So, but uh, yeah, definitely need to find creative ways to, to make up for that. And then obviously other guys, anybody else that's, that got hurt today, that whether the player not, <clears throat> we don't know yet this time. Rabbi and Jack. 
Coach, you guys scored 42 points, more than you actually scored against Indiana State, yet you end up losing. What's the level of frustration with a defense that can't win when you put up that many points? Yeah, that's just, yeah, it's unacceptable. You know, we, we worked really hard to get our offense on track and made a lot of adjustments, and, and the coach here did a great job, you know, with that unit to, to produce the, that amount of points. And uh, defense got to step up, do their job. So call what it is. Defense let this team down today. So that's the bottom line, period. Jack, can we left the Sammy back? Um, uh, defense only had one sack today. I think just one quarterback hurry. Do you, like, what, what, what was not happening with that in terms of the pass rush? And do you think some of that had to do with kind of what you were adjusting with the secondary? Yeah, and, and it, it has something to do with it for sure. I mean, we're trying to, there's some matchup challenges with the receivers that I felt made it hard for us to overload the blitz. Because obviously, when you do that, you're just creating all one on ones, you know, with them. And uh, that makes it really hard to be able to. Uh, and if you notice a lot, of, especially in the first half, a lot of the bigger plays were not on third downs. You know, they only had 30 third downs in the whole first half. You know, so, uh, but the last one was obviously a third down where we brought pressure and uh, didn't execute the call. You know, obviously we got the pressure, but then we flushed him out and he, he, the, the uh, edge player wasn't there. But, uh, but still didn't have him covered either. So to me, it's just uh, to, try, to try and find that balance of double covering a guy that's, that's hard to match up with and playing some zones to leverage him inside and outside. And uh, like I said, we tried – you know, everything that we, you know, have in our arsenal right now for this game plan, and that was obviously wasn't good enough. So, but it, like I said, it's just a frustrating day for sure defensively. Sammy, back last one. Coach, you pre-playoff mentality the last couple of weeks, yep. uh, you know, with Bolo ability on the line. Now with this loss, how do you rally the team? How do you keep them from splintering after a, a devastating loss like this? Yeah, I think you just, uh, you know, lean heavily on them, you know, who we are character of our team and character of our leadership and and uh, just like we always do we just rally together and uh, no matter what happens we stay together and we fight together and we'll come back next week and, and compete our tails off so just yeah just I mean we will we will definitely continue to fight what this team's all about what this team is built for but uh, yeah just tough one to accept right now all right thanks Tom appreciate it have a great day. Hey,